Good evening, sir. Good evening to everybody. Hello, Mr. Oh, good evening. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, sir. I'm good. <laughs> so, so nice seeing you on the call, sir. My salute to you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank and you very much, Mr. Rao. Excellent. Sir. So, it's so inspiring to see you on the call, sir. Yeah, I welcome everybody for the... Oh, sir, good evening. Sashri Kal, sir. Sashri Kal, sir. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice, sir, during my Delhi journey that our Sethi Saab and our Ramesh Agarwalji, CP Singh, sir, everybody and particularly our JWO Rao of Rao Travels. So, in fact, uh, they helped me out of way in getting connected with the people and getting uh, appointments with VVIPs kind of thing. So, I, I think I should be grateful to every one of them uh, for making our journey a uh, smoother and uh, easier one for us. Very so, successful visit you had, I think. Uh, yes, sir. I never expected that it would be that uh, successful. And we highlight of the program is that uh, this vice president himself, I, I had all the appearances because of COVID, he might not be able to come out. But... Uh, after uh, my introduction, I told him all about uh, our activities for the past uh, eight months and going forward also the one year program, sir, and everybody is now uh, excited to have a common get together with VVIP kind of people like you, wherein uh, all our uh, gallantry award winners uh, will be uh, felicitated. So he was also uh, feeling very happy, saying that it's a wonderful thing. So he has agreed to come and uh, immediately called his PS also inside that uh, hall and uh, asked him to security clearance from the defense ministry because we all uh, in that uh, we all come under that uh, category. So he immediately asked him to get the clearance from the uh, defense minister. Sir. He responded so positively then I, I was almost uh, jumping with joy for the <laughs> acceptance very he gave nice. us. Very good. It was. And you met Neb also, you know? Aha, uh -huh, Neb sir also, sir. I met him and it was also quite an inspiring uh, uh, story. And mm. uh, really, we would, I think uh, we would like to, we are very eager to hear his story also. So mm. not one story has uh, two different stories. Two different uh, stories. Yeah. Yes. So no, I, I was feeling so blessed meeting all our uh, air warriors of that cadre. And it's really a, a wonderful journey too <laughs> for me. Excellent. Very good. You deserved and, it. You deserved it. You worked very, very, you worked very hard, uh, Mr. Rao, you and Mr. Patak. Sir. And I think you deserved everything. You got. Now, with the blessings from all our people, uh, then we are uh, able to uh, <laughs> carve out a way wherein we are uh, all going to meet uh, maybe on 31st October in Hyderabad, sir. In fact, uh, a famous place. Yeah, is, I uh, heard about that. Ravindra Bharti, sir. It's mm -hmm. a very famous place. All the art and cultural activities are done there only. So, okay. yesterday we went there, met them. It's a big, uh, huge hall having more than 1100 capacity. So, mm -hmm. even if it, we make it by half because of COVID uh, restrictions, so by 100, 500 gathering would be a wonderful one. So, we are also expecting uh, some other uh, ministers, including the governor of uh, Telangana also to be yeah. one of the guests of honors. Mm -hmm. So, we, it's going to be uh, a unique one and uh, with the blessings from all of you and guidance from all our office like Brigade officer and all others. I of think course, we are going, going to, to make it happen. Of yes. course, you are going to make a success. And I think, yes, sir, just now I have arrived. Sorry for delay. Five minutes late from my, from my side. Go I ahead. just got ready for it. I, I just left, reached home uh, before half an hour or so. Anyway, so, and uh, yeah, we'll go with your story, sir. Uh, now, I think everybody uh, has got uh, enough interaction of himself. So, I'd like to uh, start with your story. So I welcome all our air warriors and uh, our uh, ground warriors like uh, Brigade Apte sir, including our Veer Chakra holders like our Karnik sir, then Kothra sir and other, other uh, our uh, Patek sir and all other uh, air warriors. I, I once again welcome you all for this yet another episode of our uh, Varnam Vijay Vars, wherein uh, we are uh, getting to hear the great stories of our own air warriors to listen to them and learn and get inspired by their story. So now this is uh, the, now we are so grateful to our uh, Air Commodore Bhargava sir. He happened to be the speaker on the first day itself on 16th December, remember. So kind of you sir, for being, <laughs> we started uh, with oh, you uh, the program and now we are, so it was clubbed with all others. Now we, we are going to have a separate program and uh, I admit that we did not have any preparation prior, uh, prior to this. So he has directly come on the call and we let us know his story by like directly from 
himself so I'll, i will i request all to welcome with a big applause welcome sir welcome our welcome uh, bargava sir our brother bargava sir uh, properly correct correct sir so yes sir uh, now you can start your journey sir uh, briefly how you got interested in joining in the air force from there after uh, we know some of your story i mean that pow part of it we had you saying last time so you can just briefly begin with your beginning and uh, take it, take us on to the 71 war and particularly that uh, pow that uh, story sir so thank you and I, on behalf of all i welcome you and salute you and honor you sir thank you mr rao thank you very much and let me tell you i am not even done 1% of what you people have done excellent <laughs> that very, is yes, very very proud of you all okay in my case uh, well the war is a war after all you go in for a mission but you don't know what is in store for you yes, sometimes sir. you make a success sometimes you meet your waterloo and you know in my case i was very unfortunate but let me tell you there was something in my mind even before the war and we were planning uh, if you see my uh, once you i hear my story i'll tell you in advance that we knew for certain that in case we get shot down which is quite likely yeah. it happens it will happen in any war and if yeah, you end up in the movie, it will be quite dark and i want to take one second and you can If you land up in a mob, sir. Yes, sir. Then you have seen what happened to Abhinandan. Yes, he sir. was very lucky. He got away because people came and helped him out. Yes, sir. Had they not come on time, you don't know what the story would have been. Yes, sir. However, in our today's scenario, when you know media is very strong. everything came on the whatsapp yes this, this viral this uh, video became viral you know and everyone in the world came to know that abhinandan has been captured yes sir yes in our time it was not the case nobody whether we will declare pow if at all we survive yes. or will be killed by the mob you know one of our pilots he was killed on the spot when he landed he was oh, yeah. hunted he was shot down he was yeah. shot by mig 19 uh, which was uh, being flown by wing commander hashmi and we have spoken to wing commander hashmi uh, in yeah. the pow camp he had yeah. come here number of times he had come so he told us about it okay, but he did not know what happened on the ground so uh, that i'll come up later in the course of my talk now what happened on the 5th of december this was my first mission and uh, i was uh, number 2 to squadron leader bakshi who was my flight commander yeah. i was deputy to him as it is so we took off and uh, which air base did you take up sir uttarlai yes sir uttarlai which i later i was lucky i later commanded it also oh that's great <laughs> so as a flight route i took off from there sir and uh, it was 5 december 71 and we entered uh, pakistan border which is not very far from barmer and uh, my rt was not very good there was some problem i was not able to hear properly the conversation between my leader and the forward air controller who sir. was flying off the mulla forwards okay. also from jodhpur sir. he was marut only but he had not flown started flying sir. so he was uh, made as a forward air controller with the army okay yes sir so he was in contact with bakshi sir, sir. where i was not able to hear him okay even then had i heard him also it wouldn't have made any difference because in my case what happened when i was on a target we did one attack and in the second attack i was hit by the ground fire in, in the same same day sir same same, same day same sort of first okay. mission i'm talking about okay okay so that's what uh, i will tell you later about this v chakra story <laughs> sir i'll tell you about this later <laughs> okay. so when uh, i was pulling up on the second attack at that time i was hit by the ground fire oh i was hit very badly in fact my my hydraulics packed up immediately okay. and i was almost in manual flying you know it, i'm not going to this uh, tidbits but my aircraft became nearly out of control however i did control it with great difficulty Wait. and i was able to tell my boss uh, my leader that sir i have been hit i think okay. he said whether your tail is clear so i say no 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 i think sir i have been hit by ground fire okay so he said don't worry you stay as well so course and get back okay but when i was turning 180 after i was heading towards pakistan only west yes. after my attack so yes. i had to turn east when i turned east i had series of emergency one after another my engine packed up i had two engine one pack, packed up immediately yes. my rt packed up oh. actually that's a major crisis i suffered okay. then after rt packed up i found that uh, 
I was now I did not know what was happening. So I looked around. I was slightly high. I would say in war situation, yeah. even three hundred feet is very high. Acha, okay. So okay. I had to come down because I had no tail clear of mine. So I didn't want some Pakistani aircraft to uh, strike me at that at that time because okay. I was totally handicapped. Sir. So I I as I put my nose down slightly, I was staring zero nine zero on my compass. Okay. At that time, my air, air speed indicator packed up. Oh, so many it was, challenges. It became, it became zero. Okay. Oh my God! I <laughs> did not know what the hell was happening around. Okay. So I, in any case, carried on, and I came down to almost fifty to hundred feet above ground level. Okay. To avoid uh, being detected, by, to avoid being detected by radar, sir. Uh, so many things besides ah, being yeah. radar. Yes. Sir. I was. As it is very slow, mind one engine was not there. Okay, अच्छा. And okay. my RT was not there. I was. I I I wanted to go further down. Sir. But then at that time I saw a mosque on my left. Oh. Oh, masjid, masjid, देखी. Sir. Oh, masjid देखने के बाद then I realized कि I was very slow. My speed was not enough. Okay. So I looked inside and I found my second engine was also fluctuating. My God. Okay. That is the time. I decided hmm. to quit. Okay. I said now I must go, otherwise okay. I will crash any time. Okay. So I ejected. Luckily, I survived and great came sir, out. Great. Yes, sir. The parachute opened. I think just about a second or two. I sir. touched the ground. Okay. So I was really very lucky that day. When my aircraft got into the sand dune, mm-hmm. there are sand dunes after sand dune there, you know. Okay. And when I was it a desert? On a, was it a desert area? Sir? Absolutely sandy area. Too much of sand there. Sir, I touched down on the sand only. I was very lucky again. Okay. And I saw my aircraft was just about twenty meters away into a sand dune, half inside. Oh my God! Okay. We are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. One second. This is a book written about uh, the POW camp by Minkumar um, Jaffa. Oh. His, okay. his name is there, Brother Bhargav. <laughs> I just show you photograph. Uh, okay, now, is it uh, available on Amazon, sir? Yes, sir. Can yes, you sir. all hear me? Yeah, can we can hear. So what happened? What happened? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When I landed, sir, I was only worried about the mob. Right, sir. That mob should not, you know. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear, sir. In between there is some okay hiccup. Yes, okay. sir. We can hear. But can you imagine, uh, Mr. Rao and all other listening to me, that there was not a single soul around when I landed. I was all by myself. Okay. No body was there except okay. that rockets were firing, and I could what hear. What was the, the time, sir? What? What nine, was the time, sir? Five minutes to nine in the morning. Morning time itself, yes, sir. Mm. Five. Yes, sir. Around eight fifty. Okay. Because eight fifty, I was over target. So that's about five minutes. Time. Okay. Okay. So five. Now what happened? I realized that the rockets are coming uh, all over. You know, I said, hopefully rockets don't uh, ricochet okay. back. So I quickly buried that. So called parachute took my survival pack and moved down. Actually, there are sand dunes after sand dunes. Okay. Dune, you know? Okay. So I was in the third, second sand dune, which was little safe from this exploding aircraft. Acha, okay, was scared of my exploding. So yes, I, I took a, that shelter. Sir. That is, and when I went there, nobody was there. But when I was halfway between these two sand dunes, my leader came over. Acha, okay, I was flying over you. Yeah. Mm. At that time, scored. He came over and he made two checkers. So, but, but did he and know that by the time? Did he know, did he know that he, you you crash landed? Did he know that? No, he didn't. No, he he saw the smoke. Okay, okay, yes, sir. Okay. He saw the smoke was for miles. Achha. You could see the smoke. Hello, yes, sir. <laughs> My people, nobody came to me. Okay, I'll tell you later. Okay, sir, okay, okay. So when I waved at him because I had not opened my swivel pack at all. Okay, so I'm not. Show him all kind of you know we have some system right. in the swivel back to you know that light system but that was not there mm-hmm. so I waved and I thought he made two orbits so I thought he has seen me. अच्छा okay and I expected a helicopter to pick mm-hmm. me up okay meanwhile I sat down on that particular sand dune on double sand dune okay and comfortably opened my swivel back took out things and that time I realized okay let me find out where the Yes. Then I saw to my horror that my map had flown off from my G suit pocket. Hota hai na jo? Ah. The map had flown off. I had no map here, okay. so I said, "No, I have a map in the swivel pack." 
So when I opened the Sonal bag, I expected a map there. And there was no map there also. My God. In some other bag, there was no map. Series of challenges, one after the other. <laughs> My God, one after the other. But never mind, I, I relied on very close to the railway line. Sir. Whether north or south, I was not very sure. But okay. had I got a map, definitely I would have come to some conclusion Sir. as to where I was. Okay. But uh, never mind, I took out a few items and uh, I drank water. There are four small bottles of uh, 100 ml. Okay, okay. Uh, water was there. Mm-hmm. So I was so excited at that time. You know, I took one bottle immediately without realizing that mm-hmm. the water is going to my lifeline. <laughs> yes. For time to come, you know. Yes. I didn't uh, know that. I didn't mm-hmm. even realize that. Mm-hmm. I thought helicopter will come. I will go back. I thought somebody will come. I will run. So I had yes. planned in such a way mm-hmm. that if somebody comes Sir. anywhere near me, I will run east. I had That's a compass east. with me. That's a compass. I had everything. I was yes, ready sir. in all respects. Right, sir. Can you imagine? Then I changed my time to Pakistan Central Time. Okay. I changed my watch time to PST. Okay. Now, it was 9.10 or so, 9.15. I was ready in all respect. 15 minutes, yes. man, I did everything. But no helicopter, mm-hmm. no person, not a single guy came. Okay. I had decided that either helicopter okay. or if somebody comes, I'll run. Okay. Or if nobody comes, I will go after sunset. After sunset, okay. Yes, okay. I had decided that. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> okay. I had three choices in front of me. Helicopter. Sir, sir. If somebody comes, I have to scoot a thing. If nobody sir. comes, I have to go after sunset. Okay, sir. Right. Now, this was ready with me. But okay. 12 o'clock, mm-hmm. no helicopter came to 12 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Some noise was there. Some mm-hmm. sound of people talking. Sir. I did not look back. I just took my survival pack in that bag, small did, bag. Did, 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 you change, the pack. did you change your overall, sir? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Uh-huh. Not yet. Okay. I was having G suit. They mean called G suit, not overall. G-suit. Yes, sir. Okay. G suit. Okay. Those days, ask them to offer. Sorry, Anna. Okay. <laughs> so I, I ran. I ran east. And you'll be surprised. I was not able to run properly because of the sand there. Ah, yes, sir. Oh, Luckily, yes. Luckily, we were wearing not the flying boots. We are wearing those camel uh, pattern shoes, you know. Okay. Uh, in Rajasthan area, uh-huh. for making us walk. Okay. Because after all that situation came in my case. <laughs> yes, sir, exactly. Now in my case, situation came that I was to run, I was to walk, I was to escape. Now. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Normally, a pilot once he lands with the parachute. 99.9% he is caught there. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Mm. It's only, I was very lucky, sir, mm. that to, I mm. was able to plan things. I was able to sing song. I you had some Hindi songs. Yes, yeah, some time. I had time. <laughs> I had three hours at my oh, disposal. Great. And I was sitting there only. Okay. Okay. When I ran, I ran for about a kilometer and a half. But I was really very badly off, I took immediately another bottle of water. Okay. So, I was left with only one and a half bottles. <laughs> yes, 150 sir. ml only was with me. Okay. I never, I looked back, nobody was there. Then after some time, maybe 10 minutes or so, quickly, I removed my G-suit mm-hmm. and I was in civil dress. Okay. I was wearing a civil dress underneath. Right, sir. A trouser, mm-hmm. a shirt, some uh, kind of a jacket. Okay. Which I had brought from USA. I had gone for this saber flying. Okay. I had flown F-86. Okay. I had gone to USA along oh. with some other pilots. Also. Great, sir. I had that jacket of US. Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, I carried on. A lot of snakes were there, Mr. Rao. Friend, you will be surprised mm-hmm. that on 5th December, uh, winter day, sir. maybe time was about 12 o'clock, but sir. snakes were going past here and there. And so fast they were moving around. Okay. And I was really careful. That I hope I don't get a snake bite here. <laughs> okay. Out of all the places I should not. So I was now careful. Slowly okay. I was going. So you are and being tested on all the all the counts. <laughs> climbing on the sand dune. Sir. After some time there was a sand dune. There's okay. a series of sand dune in that area. Yeah. Anyway, I carried on on my eastern Sir. My compass was 090. I was heading 090. Okay. And about 45 or maybe 3 o'clock. Stage came when I had no water oh. and I fell down. My God, okay. On the sand now. And I said, no, I can't walk now. Mm-hmm. You know that willpower which normally should be there, it vanished. Oh, sir. 
for once i i was defeated for once okay. i was defeated morally uh -huh. i said no without water i cannot move okay so uh, goin sir right you were saying something yeah showing something i mean well you can uh, until he comes back yes sir yeah yeah, yeah yes uh, tvr sir uh, wing command jafa sir he was also in a pow camp with him when he was in pakistan pure pow in pakistan okay and uh, i think here the one when they were a uh, picture of them when they were welcome into india after their release and uh, this is uh, his photograph is one yeah yes ah okay okay mm. so all the uh, all the pow sir covered in the book sir yes yes all pow will covered oh fantastic then i would like to uh, take buy one yes immediately book is available uh, in uh, in amazon amazon ah, i'll i'll take the death the bottle of pale yes Yes, yes. Uh, Mr. TBR, can I say something? Yeah, yeah. Please, sir. Please. Uh, in fact, uh, Dave Gohain, uh, are you the same person referred to me by Robin Das from my regiment? Uh, Robin Das. Colonel Das Gohati, are you the same person who does the paintings? Yes, yes sir. He is a creative painter. I mean, <laughs> artist. Your name has come to me from my regiment officer, Colonel Robin Das. But the interesting part is. that this gentleman who was just speaking air commodore bhargav was with my brother they were at the same base uttarlai oh. my brother was shot down on 4th december flight lieutenant yeah, pradeep yeah. apte okay he was unfortunate he landed amongst pakistani troops who shot him oh. so that is one part and full uh, mulla firoz was with my regiment officer dastur both were captured your fac was captured along with the glo Who was from my regiment? That is, uh, Lieutenant Colonel later D M Framrose. So I think uh, Group Captain Dave, uh, their pictures and names must be in your book which you are mentioning. And Mulla uh, Firoz is there. Yes, so uh, it, it is about all. I think all Air Force okay. officers are kept together. Because what happened was that Mulla Firoz and Dastur drove in. You see, the Indian Army. in those days was wearing khaki uniform on the western front and they mistook the pakistanis to be our own troops the uh, as, okay as uh, air marshal bhargav is mentioning i have served on the western front so i'll tell you uh, it is difficult to make out in the sand dunes because i have operated there on the ground so what the air force people are seeing wing commander quatra uh, and all the it's it's very difficult i have served with a desert formation So what yeah, is yeah. that? So our uh, sir, we can can continue. Our uh, Bargo sir has come. Sir. Yes, okay. sir, Bargo sir, welcome. I am on the mobile now. No issue, sir. We can see you. You can see. Can you hear me also? Yeah, I have the loud and clear, sir. No doubt. Okay, good. So I was telling you when I gave up at that time. Sir, so you know, with little bit of will power, I got up. Sir. And I climbed a sand dune, which was almost impossible to climb. Okay. And now what happened? I looked as I climbed the sand dune. First time I saw a village on my right. Okay. About two three kilometers. Sir. Maybe more. Maybe little more. Okay. So I thought it was Bitala. Okay. Bitala so, means within India or Pakistan, sir? Bitala. No, no. Bitala was in Pakistan. Very much. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. But actually. <laughs> I was not north of railway line. Bitala is on the railway line itself. Acha. I was south of railway line. Okay. Now I turned towards this village. Okay. Thinking it was Bitala, and okay. Bitala was under our control. I okay. did not know. Okay. Now when I turned right, I said, "No, I can't even go to that village." Okay. I have no power there. Nothing. No strength. No energy. Okay. I saw a little hut on the. Other side towards west, thora okay. sa, about two okay. hundred meters. Right, sir. I climbed there mm -hmm. with great difficulty. Mm -hmm. I had nothing. I mean, no. I was not carrying any weight, but there was okay. no power. There was no strength. Okay. There was no energy in me. I reached there on top in a small hut. There was a man standing with a beard. Mm -hmm. I said, "Adam," because I did not know. Acha. Uh, I just said, "Adamers." <laughs> okay. So he said, "Waalaikum." Waalaikum. Ah, salam waalaikum. Okay, waalaikum. Yeah. Waalaikum. I did ah. not know what he was saying. <laughs> okay. So I said, "Main flight le Mansoor Ali Khan hu." Acha. Pakistan Air Force ka pilot. Mujhe pani chahiye. Uh huh. Wo sahi kya? Pani nahi hai. Uh huh. So I took out my wallet. I had three hundred Pakistani rupees. 
Okay. So I took out ten rupees, mm-hmm. gave it to him. He to convince him that I was a Pakistani. <laughs> okay. That was my aim. Nothing else. Okay. So not to bribe him or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. So now, then I saw there was some you know cattle. They drink some water. Yes, sir. Outside there is a little space kept for them. Yeah, yeah. It was full of full of water. Okay. So I pointed towards that. I told him, "I will make this water drink." Okay. 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 And there, I filled up four bottles quietly. Okay. Uh huh. All four bottles were quickly filled okay. up. Okay. Okay. I got up. I had no energy. In me. I was. <laughs> okay. So I asked him, "Where is your town?" Hmm. I expected him to say Bihar, <laughs> but okay. he said it is Pirani Ki Par. Okay. Oh my God! Mm. I realized then where I was. Well, how, is it uh, far inside the Pakistan, sir? How is it? Way south. Okay. South, much south. Okay. And I said, "Pirani ki pa?" He said, "Yes." Hmm. I said, "Acha, aisa hai. I am not going to go. It is far. My helicopter is coming from that side. Hmm. But I said, "Don't tell anyone that Mansoor Ali was here." Acha, acha. Yes. And I took my compass from zero six zero degrees. Then I changed my direction from zero nine zero to zero six degrees. Okay. Because sir. I knew now I was south of the railway line, so I hmm. must hit the railway line somehow. Okay, and I started walking again. Okay, did he not ask any any other further details, sir? No, out of curiosity. No, no, he didn't know. He was the only person there. Oh, okay. I was the only person here. No, <laughs> only two. Okay. Was there. <laughs> yes, I did not see a sausage there. Okay. I don't know what he was doing. Perhaps God sent him for me. Okay. So Great. when I started walking, I went through. Then I realized I was going through some fields, and mm-hmm. people were playing the fields. Okay. I went through them, no problem at all. But 200 meter on my right, 100 meter on my left, I carried on. Days came when there was a sand dune. I climbed, and then there was a plane in front of me. Okay. I said, "Bhaiya, ab tum rest kar lo." Abhi it was <laughs> almost five o'clock. Okay. It was almost okay. five o'clock. Okay. So I said, "Now you should not walk because you will be exposed." Mm-hmm. Walking in this plane, you will be exposed. Abhi tak to sand dune se aare the na. Mm-hmm. So nobody could see me. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Now I'll be spotted by anyone. Yes, sir. So I said no. I'll wait till sunset. Sir. And that is another mistake I made. Okay. A mistake, or I would say, well, bad decision. Okay. I went down the sand uh, sand dune and lying down like this. Okay. On the ground level, when somebody saw me coming down like this, and thereafter. He they he thought that I have been bitten by a snake. Acha okay, <laughs> and, and you lied you lied on the uh, the sand. Ah, so he <laughs> came to actually rescue me. Okay, okay. Along with him, there are two other fellows. Okay, and there was a small mule also. Okay, when they came on top of me, I was lying down, and I suddenly saw some movement. Mm-hmm. I said, "My God, ये कौन आ रहा है?" And then they were on top of my head. कौन हो तुम? Acha. मैंने कहा मैं उठा but by then I had started my back ache okay actually till then I did not have much of back ache jaise mai i lay down after about 15 20 minutes they came mm-hmm. and i was not able to get up properly okay and then i realized my god there is some problem with my back mm-hmm. so i said uh, i am mansoor ali khan flight la mansoor ali khan from pakistan air force aap jaiye mera helicopter yahan aa raha hai wait kar wait kar raha hu main intezar kar raha hu helicopter ke ke nahi nahi आप चलिए यहाँ हिंदुस्तानी फौजें घूम रही हैं अच्छा हमारे साथ चलिए अच्छा ओके okay. नहीं 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 आप जाइए आप जाइए मैं 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 अभी इधर नहीं आऊंगा आपके साथ mm-hmm. कहते हैं आप करिए एंड दे इंसिस्टेड एंड आई रियलाइज के माई डेज विल गो देन आई आज एम दे पुलिस स्टेशन यूर विलेज दिस इज नो दैट गेम यू एनकरेजमेंट आई से नो लेट मी गो विद विदेम विलेज कितना है देखें विल सी एटली लेट मी गेट आउट ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम आई फेस नो यस He took me to village, and that village was my God. They were having hundreds and hundreds of people there. Okay. And uh, they were, they arranged a court because they knew I was right, Mansoor Ali. And they must have treated you with respect because 
little bit of respect. Yes, 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 yes. you're right. A little yes. bit of respect. So what happened there? There was a court. They put a court. The Jew Wali was there, na? Uh huh. So Dali and I was made to sit there. And suddenly, one guy with a little, you know, mature person came, sat next to me, and he said, "Ab kahan hai?" Hmm. I said, "Maine bataya, main flight mein Mansoor Ali hu, Pakistan Air Force ka pilot hu." He said. मंसूर अली आप तो हिंदुस्तानी गांव में हैं आई फॉर वन आई थॉट कि यार बेकू बना रहा है मेरा <laughs> yeah. तो मैंने कहा हिंदुस्तानी गांव है ये मैं क्यों हो आई एम सॉरी जी मेरे को जाने दीजिए मैं पाकिस्तान जाना चाहता हूँ mm-hmm. तो मुझे कहते नहीं नहीं बैठिए बैठिए आप पाकिस्तान में ही हैं अच्छा <laughs> <He was trying laughs> <to test you. laughs> फिर मुझे कहता है कि आप कहाँ से टेक ऑफ किया आपने मैं इंट्रोड्यूस करा मैं आई एम हेड मास्टर है सो ऐसे मैं कराची बिगिन रोड से आया हूँ कहा आपका हवाईजहाज हिंदुस्तानी गिराया मैं हाथ गिराया बिटाला के पास हम अटैक कर रहे थे तो वहाँ गिरा दिया अच्छा ओके तो कहते फिर आप इधर कैसे आ गए तो मैं क्या उधर हिंदुस्तानी घूम रहे थे तो तो मैं भाग के इधर आ गया तो इधर हेलीकॉप्टर इधर आ गए हमारा कहते हैं अच्छा अभी तो खैर मंजूर अली बताइए आप कहाँ के है तो मैं क्या मैं राहुल पिंडी का हूँ राहुल पिंडी में कहाँ रहते हैं अरे मैं क्या ये क्या हो रहा है मैं क्या राहुल पिंडी में माल रोड कैन यू मैजिन मिस्टर राव आई जस्ट टू के चांस अच्छा ओके आई डेंट नो देर माल रोड इन राहुल पिंडी बदे बदे माल रोड सो इसे अच्छा ठीक है अभी आप ऐसे कीजिए हमारे साथ अंदर चलिए इधर अंधेरा हो गया और मेरे को अंदर हक में ले गया It was seven fifteen, I think. In the evening, yes, sir. I know. When I went inside, when I went inside, it was very dark, quite dark, and I realized that it is time to go now. Because now I realized from talking with them that mm. I was only seven course from the Indian border. Oh, that they are only seven course from the Indian border. Hmm. Hmm. So, I got this idea that I am about fifteen kilometers away. Okay. Yes. So I said, "Okay, no problem. We have to take the Hindu side to the border." So after that, he took me inside. He took me to the kitchen and we all sat down. There was a lot of people sitting down. There was a lot of people sitting down. Okay. Okay. And then there were children too. Then I realized that this is the right time because I have to go now as early as possible. Yeah, yeah. एक बोला आपके लिए चाय बना रहे हैं तो मैं क्या I looked at my watch I said uh, Rangers हाँ ah, meanwhile I had spoken to them about Rangers अच्छा यहाँ आप Rangers हैं police station तो नहीं था पर Rangers हैं कहते हैं यहाँ Ranger भी नहीं है तो I was totally happy that I am now out okay nobody can stop me these fellows cannot stop me. <laughs> okay so I was so over confident that was wrong okay so I should have I should have realized he said three to four hours Ranger will come okay so I said about ten o'clock eleven o'clock आएंगे तो by then if I am here I am big very fool so I said I said ठीक है कोई बात नहीं आने दो जल्दी नहीं आ सकते के नहीं अभी इतनी जल्दी नहीं आ सकते तो मैं ठीक है आने दो ओके mm-hmm. अब मैं अंदर बैठ गया mm-hmm. चाय आई मैं चाय भी पी मैंने okay. uh, you know, yes, चाय पी ली दो कप चाय पी मैंने mm-hmm. और मैंने अपने पानी की बॉटल जैकेट में रख ली पॉकेट में एक डैगर निकाल के रख लिया अच्छा. और एक टॉर्च रख लिया okay. ये मैं तैयार था मैं अपने पास ही थे Carry, I didn't carry. Okay. I didn't carry any revolver. But we were allowed to carry one revolver. I said no, I don't go. Anyway, there are two ways of looking at it. I'll tell you later. Revolver is a dangerous thing. You yeah. know the case of Ayub Hussain, flying officer Ayub Hussain, our uh, pilot no, in Adampur no. in '65. Or I was there in '65. Sir, he bailed out 10 kilometers short of Adampur. Okay. And villagers thrashed him because he was Hussain. Acha. Okay. Mm. He told them that I am a Adampur ka pilot who my boy is in Air Force. Ah. And he had a revolver with him. Okay. तो ही टुक आउट दैट रिवॉल्वर एंड इसे देखो ये मेरा मेरे पास है मेरे को दिया इंडियन एयरफोर्स का है ये तो एक विलेजर ने उसके रिवॉल्वर खींच लिया और उसको मारने लगा था वो तो उसने कहा तू पागल हो गया हो ये लोडेड है इसको उधर रखो इतने में लकी पुलिस के एंड आई हुसैन वॉज दो ऑफकोर्स ही वॉज क्वाइट बैडली भीजन अप बाई दिलेजर बाई दिन ही वॉज मूव टू जलंधर मिलिट्री हॉस्पिटल देर ही द ब्लड देन दे पीपल देन ऑल विलेजर रिलाईज के हो ये तो इंडियन था यार तो उसको ब्लड देने गए थे ओके सो देट इज द बैकग्राउंड आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यूट टू कैरी रिवॉल्वर रिवॉल्वर से आई मे बी शॉर्ट बाई My own revolver. Okay, it's quite possible. Yes, sir. So now I was in a win-win situation. That now I have to leave. I said, "Okay, at eight o'clock I will leave." It was quarter to eight. 
ऐसे एकदम नहीं निकलूंगा चाय भी पिए पंद्रह मिनट के बाद निकल जाऊंगा एंड बाद निकल जाऊंगा फिर तो मुझे पता कंपस मेरे पास थी कंपस भी मेरे पास थी पर कंपस की रात को जरूरत नहीं पड़ी मुझे पता था अब तो मुझे पता था मैं कहा हूँ नाउ आई हैड नो रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एनी थिंग आई हैड ओनली रन फॉर अबाउट हंड्रेड मीटर उसके बाद आई वुड है बट इट डेंट हैपन एट फाइव मिनट टू एट रेंजर्स के हट आई वॉज सिटिंग वेन आई सॉ दैम कमिंग विद राइफल्स फोर ऑफ दैम इन यूनिफॉर्म I said, "Shit, ये क्या हो गया यार?" Mm. You know, I was totally demoralized at that. My God, okay. हाँ, मेरा मोराल वास स्काई हाई. And again, ah, totally uh, game rock bottom. Yes, yes, sir. And then I said, "कि भाई अब क्या करूँ हाँ?" Mm. Then the fellow came, pretended that I am very badly injured. अच्छा, okay. मैं लेट गया और चरपाई के ऊपर जब वो हुसैन अंदर मैं लेट गया तो उसने आके मेरे साथ बैठ के कहता है कौन है आप तो मैं क्या मैं फ्लाइट में मंसूर अली खान हूँ पाकिस्तान एयरफोर्स का पायलट हूँ अच्छा कहते साहब टाइम क्या हुआ है तो मैं बोला नहीं मैं सर घड़ी आगे दिखा दी सो द टाइम अफसर अफसर है तो वो अच्छा एनी वे अब क्या हुआ इसे टाइम देखा इसे आपको चोट लगी है साहब चोट लगी है रीढ़ की हड्डी में दर्द हो रहा है तो ये सब ठीक है आप आराम कीजिए आराम फरमाइए और वो मेरे सामने आके बैठ गया एंड बाई द वे आई फॉर गोट टेल यू दिवन माई आई ऑल आइटम्स टू दीपल टू वट एवर लिटल स्लीपिंग बैग एवरीथिंग आई गिवन टू दिल्ड्रन दे Okay. Because I didn't want to carry. Mm -hmm. There was no nothing to carry except my. Yeah, four only to very close to border, only fifty kilometers away. Dagger, yeah. dagger and torch. I didn't want to carry anything else. Right, sir. And but luckily, क्या unluckily हो गया जो भी है. अब उन्होंने मुझे जब देखा उन्होंने एक उन्होंने एक और knife था वह. वो knife देखा तो उसपे made in UK लिखा था. अच्छा. उसे उसे नाम आवाज आवाज अली था. Lands knife. हाँ. उसने उसको made in India पढ़ लिया. Oh. और वो कहने लगा ये तो हिंदुस्तानी है मेरे तो कान खड़े हो गए तो मैंने कहा क्या हिंदुस्तानी है कहते ये जो आपका छुरी आपने दी बच्चों को छोटी वाली इसमें ये तो मेड इन इंडिया है मैं इधर लाऊ मैं लेटा लेटा ही उसको देख रहा था मैं क्या देखो मेड इन यूके लिखा है आवाज अली और मैं क्या अच्छा कोई अफसर को बुलाओ अपने को इन बिटवीन आई हेड ऑल्सो आज एम आई वॉन्ट टू गो आउट अच्छा अच्छा ओके तो टू ऑफ देम फॉलो मी अच्छा ओके विद मी विद राइफल नाउ आई रियलाइज एंड मून हेड कम अप ओके गुड साइड इट वॉज नॉट डार्क आई दर या ओके तो आई वाज इन अ हेलो वे सिचुएशन वेदर टू रन देन आई रियलाइज इफ आई रन दे हैव अ राइफल दे विल शूट सो इट्स बेटर नॉट टू रन एट दिस स्टेज आई टोल्ड देम आई से गो बैक मैं आ रहा हूं आ रहा हूं वापस आ नहीं नहीं आप हमारे साथ ही रहेंगे आपके ओके सो नॉट दैट आई वाज द टाइम दैट आई थिंक दे ग्रू सस्पिशियस अबाउट यू सर दे मस्ट दे मस्ट हैव व्हाट एवर इट इज सो आई केम बैक टू द हार्ट बाय देन ही हैड टेकन ऑल द आइटम व्हिच आई हैड गिवन टू द चिल्ड्रन इट टुक अबाउट अदर हाफ एन आवर बिफोर ही गैदर्ड गट्स कम एंड आस मी तो आई सेड पहले अफसर को बुलाओ बोले हम अफसर हैं मैं कहता हूं अफसर नहीं हो अफसर को बुलाओ मेरी तबीयत ठीक नहीं है आप आपको क्या बताऊंगा मैं उनको बताऊंगा वो बोले ऐसे राइफल नीचे करके बता दो हमें कौन हो नहीं तो हमें तरीके आते हैं ढूंढने के पता करने के हम सब कुछ पता कर देंगे आपके बारे में कौन हो आप बताओ तो मैं क्या क्या शक क्या है तुम्हें क्या शक है हमें अच्छा आप करना पड़ दो अब कलमा तो मुझे नहीं आता था अच्छा अब मैंने सोचा अब क्या करू कलमा क्या होता है मुझे यही नहीं पता था ओके तो आई सेड मेरी तबीयत बहुत खराब है बहुत दर्द हो रहा है मैं कहते एक लाइन तो है लाई लाई लाला मोहम्मद रसूल अब मुझे तो आता है ना मुझे कुछ और नहीं आता था आई डू मॉन्ट टू आई डू मॉन्ट टू कॉपी मेक ओके so I I said no now what never attack her mm -hmm. so I said avoidly ah uh, main Mansoor Ali Khan nahi mm -hmm. okay ab maine realize kiya ke now I am I am not able to manage is better to know so I said main Mansoor Ali nahi hu mm -hmm. so, kaun hai 
तो मैम मैं फ्लाइट इंडियन जवाहरलाल भार्गव हूँ इंडियन एयरफोर्स का पायलट और जो कुछ आपने करना है करो अच्छा ओके वो जब मैंने ऐसे बोला तो विलेजर जो बैठे थे नीचे टू बी फ्रेंक विद यू मिस्टर राव आई एक्सपेक्टेड ए काइंड ऑफ फ्रेशिंग बट दे सेट क्या करेंगे आपका कोई नहीं आप तो हमारे मेहमान है आपको कोई हाथ नहीं लगा सकता अच्छा बीच में वो आगे कुछ तो करेंगे मेरा और मुझे पता था पिटाई होने वाली है या मार भी सकते हैं मुझे कुछ भी हो सकता है एनीथिंग इज पॉसिबल तो वेन दे सेट तो आवाज अली लाफ डेट आप पहले बता देते हैं इतनी देर आप की कर रहे हैं आप आप फिर बैठा फिर मेरी पास उसे वॉलेट निकाला मेरा सब कुछ घड़ी निकाल ली मतलब फिर तो उसे सब कुछ निकाल के मेरा डैगर निकाल लिया मेरी बोतल निकाल ली सब कुछ निकाल लिया उसे कंपस ले ली टॉर्च ले लिया सब कुछ नहीं था मेरे पास एंड ही सेट यू ओपन द वॉलेट एंड देयर फोटोग्राफ ऑफ माई वाइफ एंड माई चिल्ड्रेन वो सन एंड डॉटर वेरी स्मॉल देवर ओनली थ्री एंड टू एंड हाफ थ्री एंड वन एंड हाफ तो ही सेट बेगम साहेबा बच्चे हैं आपके मैं हाँ अच्छा ठीक है आप खाना खाएंगे अभी भूख लग रही है तो मैं आप बड़ा खाते हैं छोटा खाते हैं मैं के मैं कुछ नहीं खाता मुर्गा खाते हैं मैं मुर्गा खा लेता हूँ तो कहते चलो साहब के लिए मुर्गा बनाओ अच्छा अभी देखो राव साहब अभी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थी है कि मैं समझा कि मेरा मुर्गा बनेगा और वो उन्होंने सचमुच मुर्गा बनाया अच्छा ओके ग्रेट अबाउट नाइन थर्टी पी एम वेन एवरीबॉडी वकेटेड ओके एंड आई वॉज हैविंग पेन जेनुअन पेन एंड आई एक्चुअली वेन टू स्लीप ओके आई वॉज वोकन अप एट अबाउट ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक आई डिड नॉट नो द टाइम और एक आदमी नीचे बैठा वो बोला साहब आपने मेगम साहब के लिए रुका भेजना है तो भेज दो मैं बार बार जाता रहा अरे मैंने कहा तुम कहाँ से कहा मैं कहा आ गया हूँ यार तुम लोग मुर्गा खिला रहे हो मुझे बार बार जाते हो तुम ये क्या हो क्या रहा है कहते आप लिख दो अभी वो बाहर है अच्छा वो गा, गाली देखे कहते वो तो बाहर है आप लिख दो तो एक कागज लाया वो मेरे लिए पेन लाया तो मैंने मैसेज लिखा अपनी वाइफ के लिए आई आई एम नाउ कैप्चर्ड बी डिक्लेयर प्रिजनर ओके आई एम ओके एक्सेप्ट बैक एक वो मैंने उसको दिया वो कहता साहब इस पे एड्रेस तो लिख दो तो मैंने टू टू फाइव स्कॉर्डन केयर ऑफ फिफ्टी सिक्स कर दिया अच्छा ओके नीचे भार को तो लिख दिया फ्लाइट लाइफ जेल भार को लिख दिया यूनिट नहीं लिखी टू टू फाइव स्कॉर्डन लिख वो थी नहीं इन दोनों तो मैं क्या फिफ्टी सिक्स एपी हो जाएगा तो कहीं ना कहीं तो तो लेंगे पड़ेगा तो कोई ना कोई तो देखेगा ना बट मेरा ख्याल तो लेटर गया ही नहीं अच्छा अच्छा वो लड़का कुछ गो टू बार में और वी एव गॉन और मे बी दिस वॉज ए प्लॉयट कुड बी यस बाई द रेंजर्स तुम देख के आओ उसके लेटर लिखाओ कुछ तो था विच आई डोंट नो बट लेटर नेवर के ओके तो खाने के बाद मेरे को फिर साढ़े बारह एक बजे करीब फिर मेरे को तीन कैमल उन्होंने अरेन्ज किए आगे कैमल पे एक रेंजर दूसरे पे मैं और मेरे साथ एक और अच्छा दो बैठे थे और दो रेंजर पीछे ओके आवाज अली पीछे और कैमल के ऊपर राव साहब कैमल पे कभी बैठे हैं आप हाँ बैठे सर बहुत है बहुत छा होता है भाई विद दैट बैक एक माय ब्लाइंड फोल्डेड हैंड कप ऑन द कैमल द वे कैमल गेट्स अप वो हो कैन फॉल एनी टाइम या 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 बहुत मुश्किल होता है बैलेंस नॉर्मली भी मुश्किल होता है इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू बैलेंस यस टेलिंग यू इट वाज अ टफेस्ट थिंग टू डू गेट ऑन टू द कैमल राइट एंड देन द कैमल इज आल्सो डूइंग लाइक दिस यू नो या 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 आर शेकिंग यस सर सो माय स्पाइन एक्चुअली ब्रोक देयर ओन माय गॉड तो अभी मैं इजाजत में मोहब्बत अली नाम था इसका जो मेरे साथ स्कॉट तो ही रिमेन विद मी थ्रो बाई दी वी है थ्री नाइट ऑफ सेवन राइट माई गॉड यस आई एम टेलिंग यू समिंग वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग अब हम जब निकले रात को अब मेरे को नींद नींद तो सो लिया था मैं लकीली सो लिया था बट आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू इट ऑन आई हैंकी ब्राइंड फोर वॉज विद माई हैंकी माई ओन ओके and blindfold was uh, sorry handcuff was was but, but how are you, how are you managing sir to sit on the camel with all this blindfolding oh, and uh, you uh, don't ask me don't remind me oh because i'm telling you is a punishment sir, sir. i can't forget that journey those three days were terrible sir. and 
particularly going down and coming up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 it was a no, real yeah. punishment. Were you traveling both day and night, sir? Only nights. Day and night. Oh, okay. Day and night on the camel. But what happened? Mm. Uh, I asked Muhammad Ali. Ye, I saw a little bit of a gap. I could see that we are heading towards <coughs> south. Achha, because okay. I could see the stars. You know, okay. when the hanky is not fully <laughs> properly tied, you can see through. Uh, uh, yeah, see through. Yeah. Then I saw stars on the top. I saw some of them. Oh, no, I forgot to what is it called. Mm-hmm. Seven stars. So, we know where it is, north and south. Sir, sir. So, I realized we are heading towards south. That Milky Way, what we call it Milky Way, right? Ah, Milky Way, Milky Way. But uh, we named something else, I forgot to so many years. Now. Yes, sir, okay. So, in the morning, we reached a village. Sir. They made me eat a bajare ki roti mm-hmm. with chaat jo lassi hoti hai chaat lassi ha chaat hota hai chaat hoti hai chaat par yes. kaun khayega it was not possible to eat anything i had one bite and then we had some chaat and then we started again on the again. camel mm-hmm. and we are on the camel